Hello and welcome to day five of alleviating your anxiety. So today we're going to take things a little bit slower. We're going to do a yin yoga practice. So for those of you who are familiar with yin yoga, yin is a more receptive and reflective type of yoga. It's a lot slower and we're not going to be holding very many postures because the postures we do hold, we're going to be holding them for about four minutes. So when we're in a posture for such a long length of time, we're able to really stretch deep into our connective tissue and our fascia, which we often don't get to stretch with just doing hatha or vinyasa practices. So here, you're really going deep into the body. There will be a shift of energy as stretching these parts that often don't get much attention. It shifts energy and you may release feelings, emotions, a lot of stuff can come up while you're going deep in this practice. So as always, I really invite you just to connect with your breath as you're holding the postures. Let the breath guide you. And as we first get into the postures, we have a long time to be in them. So start off really gentle, really slow. You do not have to go deep and then just let your breath guide you and then see how far you come. It's not a competition. Just allow yourself to really surrender and to let go here. Don't push yourself. If you're ever feeling pain in the posture, come out of it. That is not the goal here. You wanna get that deep stretch, but no pain without hurt. We do not want to hurt ourselves here. So the goal here is just to be really gentle with yourself breathe and to see where it takes you, how, how you feel. Again, I'll, I probably sound like a broken record, but allow yourself to be a witness here and just see what your body's trying to tell you. So if you have blocks at home, that's beautiful. If you don't have blocks, I encourage you to maybe grab pillows or you could grab a book or something that resembles one of these two things just as in yoga we do use props more than regular yoga just to help us and for support so the first posture that we're going to do is i believe we've done it before in our previous day is we're going to stretch out our right leg out wide and bring the sole of the left foot on the inside of the right thigh give our torso a little twist here so we're leaning over the right leg and then I encourage you to grab your block here, again, starting slow. And we can just gently walk our hands forward. Yin yoga is about surrender and being open and receptive. So bring your palms open towards the sky. And then you can curl your back here. Spine does not have to be straight. Just allow yourself to let go. And then you can bring your forehead onto the block if you like. Can lower your block if that's easy, or you can just lower down, no block, let your head hang, whatever stage you're at here. So we're gonna hold this for four minutes. So really, I invite you maybe to even put on some music here. Just allow yourself to surrender. See where the posture takes you. Always remembering to breathe, relaxing through the face and through the jaw.
About one more minute here. Continue breathing. Taking one more full inhalation here. And exhale, open the mouth. Inhale slowly, slowly in your own time. You can begin to rise up. And then you can just bend that knee if you want. You can bring that, your legs out in front of you about a hip width distance and just windshield wiper your knees back and forth, letting that right side go. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side, so stretching the left leg out wide, right sole of the foot comes up to the upper left thigh, grabbing your block, turning your torso, so you're leaning over the left leg, and slowly, slowly, bending over, using the Block if you need to rest your forehead. Just entering the pose slowly, gently. And coming into the breath. Yin yoga is such a beautiful practice for calming the mind. So amazing for relieving anxiety because we're in these postures stretching so deeply. We're really moving energy, getting rid of any stagnation in the body, bringing fresh flow. So it really helps clear out any negativity, bringing fresh new energy, good energy throughout the body, moving things, bringing you into a clear mind.
Taking one more full inhalation here. And exhale. Inhale, you can begin to slowly, slowly in your own time, begin to rise up. And then you can bring the legs out in front of you, bending the knees, soles of the feet on the earth, and just windshield wiper those knees back and forth, letting that go. Beautiful work. So next posture we're going to move into is melting heart. So I believe we've done this in other classes so far. So making your way into a tabletop position, just making sure that the hips are in line with the knees and we want to keep them there as we walk our hands forward, bring our forehead down on the mat, allowing our back to sway here, reaching the hands forward and just allowing your chest to melt into the mat. Imagine any emotions, anything that no longer serves the heart. Imagine it pouring out of the heart, falling into the mat. Just really allowing the backs of the shoulders to open, the back of the heart, the chest. Such a beautiful posture. We'll hold this, allow yourself to breathe, breathe into any places of tension. And just see what comes up here. Taking one more full inhalation here. 
and exhale. Inhale, slowly, slowly. You're going to walk your hands back to a tabletop position, being gentle with yourself. And then in tabletop, you can just maybe shake your head, move your shoulders, circle your hips, whatever feels nice to you. Just kind of rebounding out of the posture. And then we're just going to make our way onto our backs. Drawing the knees into the chest, just bringing them in for a hug. You can just maybe sway your lower back side to side. And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet up to the sky, keeping a bend in the knees here. Coming in to happy baby. So you can grab the insides of the soles of the feet or the outside inner arches. Whatever feels best to you here, you can experiment. And we're going to keep this static, so still here. It's a really intense hip opener, so do your best. Just allow yourself to breathe. If at any point you do have to come out, just bring your knees into your chest. And, but try to come back into the posture. Holding it for so long without coming out, you really allow yourself to go deep. If you come out, you have to go more back to where you started. So really try your best, keeping the tailbone on, this, on the earth here, breathing into those hip joints. Again, the hips are the jump door of emotion. We worked on them yesterday. So this can be intense. Breathe into your hips, really send your breath there. This will make it so much easier. And again, allow everything, allow the surrender, allow yourself to let go, and allow yourself to open up, moving so much energy, bringing so much fresh new energy into the body. Yin can really test us and push us to our edge. It can be such a mental fight and just when you think you can't do it, can't hold it any longer, you just come back to your breath and you do do it. You got this. You think a little bit deeper and you come a little bit further in your journey. You open the body up a bit more. Open up your heart a bit more and really let go of what no longer serves you, anxieties, fears. Moving more and more into the space of love.
taking one more full inhalation here and exhale slowly slowly being really gentle with yourself you can drop the knees in towards the chest sway your lower back side to side then gently placing the soles of the feet to mat with distance apart bringing the arms out to a T or cactus you can just sway those knees side to side windshield wiper moving with the breath letting that go beautiful work so intense that one really opens up the hips and then when you've evened out from right to left you can draw the knees in again come in for a hug then we're going to extend the left leg long with our left hand, we're going to draw the right knee across our body. We can bump our hip over to the right side if that helps. The knee doesn't have to come down to the earth here. And then we're going to bend our left knee. So the left sole of our foot comes up towards our glutes. And then we're going to grab it if it's available with our right hand. So this is cat pulling its tail. Keeping the left hand on the left knee, trying to keep the shoulders on the earth if it's possible. You can always bring bolsters underneath the knee if you need. And if you have a strap at home, if you can't reach your left foot, you can bring the strap around the ankle and pull the foot up with the strap. Nice little twist here. Working energy through the spine. Always remembering to breathe. Are you relaxing the jaw, the face, the lips? Sending your breath into any places of tension. Allowing yourself to sink into the posture. And just see what's going on with you internally as you're in these postures. Is it a mental struggle? Are you fighting with yourself or are you just breathing, really allowing yourself to feel everything, knowing that this too shall pass, whatever feeling, whatever emotion, and just allowing yourself to release it. Taking one more full inhalation here. And exhale. 
can gently begin to release your left leg from your right arm. You can slowly begin to lift up the right leg, placing the soles of feet on the earth. Again, soles of the feet mat with distance apart. We're going to windshield wiper those knees again, just letting that side go. And then once you've evened out from right to, to left, extending the right leg this time, drawing the left knee into the chest with the right hand, drawing it across the body. You can shift your hips over to the left side of the mat. Knee does not need to touch the earth. If you want, you can bring the pillow, bolsters underneath the knee. Bringing the, we're gonna bend the right knee Bring the sole of the foot up to the glutes, and if it's available, grabbing the right foot with the left hand. You can wrap a strap around the ankle if we need. Just going lightly with wherever you're at. Yoga practice, not perfect. So many different stages to every posture. Everyone is so different in their body. It really does not matter where you're at. All that matters is that you showed up today on the mat. Remembering to breathe here. And if you feel pain anywhere in the body, just remembering to come out. Discomfort is okay. That's the place of growth. Pain is not. Taking one more full inhalation here, and exhale. You can slowly begin to release your right leg. You can slowly begin to bring your left leg back to center, spreading the soles of the feet wide, and again, windshield wipering those knees side to side, letting that left side go. Hmm, feeling fresh energy move through the body. In the last pose we're going to do today.
today is um, legs up the wall. So if you have a wall near you, I invite you to go up right by the wall, place your legs on it, and just allow yourself to enjoy. Um, I, if you don't have a wall that you can put your legs up on, but you have a block, you can just bring the block underneath. Place it about where your sacrum is. And then you can just lift up your legs here. So that's what I'm going to do today. If you have your wall, go lay there. Bring the palms open towards the sky. And again, just allow yourself to breathe. This pose is so beautiful because it really switches up the blood circulation in the legs. It really brings some new fresh energy, fresh blood. And again, just allowing yourself to release, to let go, and to breathe. Allow yourself to be open and receptive. Surrendering into the posture. And then taking one more full inhalation, and exhale, and then slowly, if you're against the wall, you can bring your legs off the wall, or if you used a block, remove the block from underneath you, lowering the legs. Then you can stretch out one leg wide, then the other, arms out wide, palms open towards the sky, coming into your final resting pose, your Savasana. So I invite you to stay here for a minimum five minutes, if not ten, just really letting your body settle, 
of rest, really absorb all the benefits of everything you just did today, really allowing the energy to stay shifted, allowing the body to open up. And just remembering that wherever you're at today is exactly where you're meant to be. Yoga is not about being able to touch your toes. It's all about what you learn on the way down. So thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day, feeling calm and refreshed and restored. Thank you so much. Namaste.